Yep. <clears throat> uh, my name is Nikki Ryan. I'm competing in uh, welterweight, so it's 170, and I'll be fighting Jonathan Gracie. Yeah, um, you know, I think it's going to be a, a super exciting match. You know, I'm I'm especially never known to to stall or try and win. You know, by points, um, and neither is uh, Janatis. Uh, so we're both going to be going out there and, and hunting for the finish. What's this experience been like of doing this grappling thing, but with UFC kind of Oh, it's been great. You know, uh, UFC is such a, a big organization, and it's a it's a great opportunity for the entire sport of jiu-jitsu. I'm very happy that they're really diving into this sport and uh, helping grow it. Um, yeah, I think I think I'll be able to get a submission uh, in regulation. At least I'm hoping. You know, I'm I'm known to have a bad uh, gas tank, so I want to end it quick. What do you do to improve that gas tank? Uh, shark tanks, a little bit of a salt bike, and uh, it's getting better. But we'll see tomorrow. What's the shark tank? Uh, it's, so I'll, like I'll do like ten minutes where I'll have uh, guys. I'll have fresh guys switch every two minutes. Yeah, so every two minutes I get a fresh guy, and it just exhausts me. No, 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 yes, yeah, <laughs> that'd be bad. Um, what about GSP commentating? Is that exciting for you? Or is that yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I've always been a fan of GSP. We used to train a bunch up at, uh, at uh, Henzo's in New York, um, but yeah, he's, he's been an idol of mine since I was a kid. You know, he's, he's a legend in the, the sport of MMA, so I'm very happy that uh, he's commentating tomorrow. Uh, no, I, I don't really try and let the, the outside things uh, influence me and, and create more pressure. You know, uh, we have enough pressure. Uh, us athletes have enough pressure on ourselves already, and I don't think it's good to, to let outside influences, you know, make it worse. Who's going to be cornering you? Um, Damian Anderson will be cornering me, yeah. What's the uh, relationship between you and your coach? And, like, in terms of how do you guys communicate? Is he sort of going to just let you do your thing and only type in when you need it, or is he... <coughs> Yeah, so I think the, the corner's job is just to, to throw out suggestions, you know. Um, it's funny, I'm actually his coach. Uh, he just flew out to, to corner me. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I, I, like I said, I think the corner's job is to just throw out suggestions, see what they think from an outside perspective looking at the match, um, and then it's the athlete's job to decide whether he wants to do that or not. And last question, what's the next step? Uh, do you have something planned before the end of the year? Another struggle match, or do you have going to take time off? <coughs> Um, yeah, so I have a, a match booked for uh, February. Actually, it's for the uh, the WNO title against Mika Galvao. It's a match that people have wanted forever, so I'm super excited for that.